Tonight's headlines, former Senator Bongbong Marcos's camp cries foul over emergency alerts. Senator Richard Gordon website down for hours. Coronavirus cases in the country at 2,622,917. Restrictions for unvaccinated could lead to discrimination, says DOH. Throw of tropical depression to bring rains over Metro Manila. Today is Wednesday, October 6, 2021. I'm Elmer Navarro Manuel, and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. The camp of a Senator Ferdinand, former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. cried foul over the emergency cell phone alerts, which appeared to promote his candidacy. The messages were sent to users in the vicinity of the Sofitel Hotel tent on Wednesday after Marcos filed his certificate of candidacy for president in the 2022 national elections. Lawyer Vic Rodriguez, Marcos's chief of staff, said the illegal use of the emergency alerts was among the many demolition jobs perpetrated by those who want to frustrate his candidacy. Rodriguez added that Marcos and his family also received the alert notification and he called on those behind the cell phone alerts not to mess with the government system solely meant for emergencies. The official website of Senator Richard Gordon has shut down for several hours last October 4 due to a coordinated online attack. Gordon made a statement after his office's information technology officer reported a distributed denial of services or of service attack. My Cruz, Gordon's IT officer, said that the DDoS attacks are usually patched through the dark web by nefarious individuals in exchange for a high price. This has caused the web services shut down from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. last October 4. The administrators of DickGordon.ph had contained the problem by barring entry of traffic from outside the Philippines at around 1 p.m. on the said date, but the foreign-led attack persisted until 3.04 p.m. The Department of Health reported 9,868 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Wednesday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 2,622,917, even as two laboratories failed to submit data on time. This brought the active cases to 11 or 112,807, and of the total, 76.7% are mild, 13.9% are asymptomatic, 2.8% are severe and 1.2% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 2,471,282 after 133 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll remained at 38,828 with no fatalities recorded. Data also showed that the intensive care unit beds for COVID-19 patients remain at high risk at 71% of the total 4,500 ICU beds in use. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. It's time for the world to know. Outstanding Filipinos in America. The 11th Outstanding Filipinos in America Awards 2021. A salute to the heroes of coronavirus. Coming back live in person at the Carnegie Hall in New York City. Home of the TOFA Awards since 2011. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage.
In other news, the Department of Health said that imposing mobility restrictions on unvaccinated individuals may lead to discrimination. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergueri said that as of the moment, majority of the population is unvaccinated and hence it may lead to discrimination, especially to those who don't have access to vaccines yet or to those who really cannot be vaccinated for medical reasons. Rigueri issued a remark in response to the call of several business and industry groups that the state and the private sector should be able to restrict the activities of unvaccinated persons for the common good. She added that fully vaccinated individuals should continue to practice the minimum public health standards since they can still get infected and infect others with COVID-19. State Weather Bureau Pagasa announced that the throw of Tropical Depression Talim, which was formerly named as Lani, will bring scattered rains and thunderstorms over western areas of Luzon. In its 4 p.m. weather forecast, the throw of the Tropical Depression, which is now outside the Philippine jurisdiction, will dampen Metro Manila, Pangasinan, Sambales, Bataan, Tarlac, Pampanga, Cavite, Batangas, Occidental Mindoro, and Palawan on Wednesday afternoon. It also warned of possible flash floods or landslides during severe thunderstorms. The throw of the weather disturbance and localized thunderstorms will also affect the rest of the country, according to Pagasa. And in business, Department of Energy Assistant Secretary Gerardo Erguiza Jr. said Wednesday that the recent increases in oil prices will have minimal impact on power rates. Ergisa said very few power plants in the country are fueled by oil and most of the country's power plants are coal-fired and run by renewable sources. Ergisa added the current situation in the oil market is mostly affecting the transport sector. Oil firms on Tuesday hiked pumped prices for six consecutive weeks. The DOE official said all price increases in the past weeks were brought by tighter global supply amid rising demand as economic activities peaked during the last quarter of the year. That wraps up the stories tonight. And before we go, we would like to thank our, the SM Store, Araneta City, Department of Tourism, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magandang araw mga katribu! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelovelo, Comfy Manalo, Chinky Mangkukang, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha at Chirk Balagtas. Abangan ang programang Gising Na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Inabas ng mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Sama-sama natin alamin ang mga natatawang istorya sa mga latest na kaganapan sa loob at labas ng bansa. Simula ng bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments dito sa ating programa. Maaari nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ng inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribunal sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga. At magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Magpabakura kayo! This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Oh, 
Vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magpabakura kayo! Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage.